Hello, it's Phantom Ghost here, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain. Uh, I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Uh, as you can see, we're already in it. Yeah, I've saved you all the uh, previous uh, setting up. Here comes the majestic music as I fly in to my landing zone. Uh, basically, this game is set in northern Kabul, Afghanistan, and Africa. Um, there are not many futuristic points to it. Some of them, some of the points in this game are quite quirky in a way. What with uh, the teleportion, which you'll see here. There you go. Quirky points. But the actual gameplay and fighting is generally uh, quite realistic. Here, as you can see here, I spotted. A, well, my partner has spotted a guy, and I'm just zoning in on him with my sniper rifle. Um. So to find out an actual range, I've got this out. You know, changing the ranges, looking at like that. Stuff on the right hand side of this, as you can see there, is what he is and what he's good at. So if I actually wanted to keep him, um, go and shoot him with a stun gun, then uh, I'll do that, but I don't. So I'm going to shoot him out, there you go. He's not dead though, he's going to get back up always fun. Second shot's a nice headshot though and he falls down not so gracefully. Um, the humming in the background I believe is a jeep. There he goes. Yeah there you go. It's just a regular jeep. Someone else. Skadoosh. There you go. I think that's another headshot there, I'm not sure though. Right, that's all done. I hear a, a lorry, I think, this time. I'm going to check this out. So, um, with this, I'm taking my suppressor off because uh, in this game, if you use the suppressor too much, it will actually run out and break, and then you have to try and restock somewhere and get another suppressor. So. Don't ask. Oh. Well, I'll tell my partner how to. Right, he's dead now. Oh no, he's not. His helmet. Now he's dead. I'm not used to this game, so I'm kind of diving. Ooh, flowers. Get them up. So yeah, you can take these out and. So you can, like, if you uh, airlift them, then you can call them in at other points. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is at the moment. On the ground. I have a feeling we're going to come into some enemy contact in a minute. There's people shooting over there. There he is. So we want sniper back out. See one on his head. Got him. So I know someone spotted us. Kind of scurry away. Um, kind of lost him now. An animal, right? So I shoot that, and then that basically means that he can be now airlifted and put in almost a petting zoo. So I think I'm gonna end the commentary here and just let you watch the gameplay and listen to it. The actual gameplay is kind of self-explanatory. There's subtitles for the uh, foreign languages. It starts in slow motion. 
There you go. Um, quite self-explanatory. And the uh, I'll let you listen to all the funky noises. So uh, I'll do the outro now. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe and like. Um, and comment down below with what you want to see next. Um, because I'm still a bit stuck. I want to see more of this. I want to see some division. I want to see some evil within. Put it down in the comments. And uh, I will try and upload it when I can. So I'll leave you with this kill. And some more gameplay.
find our two intel team members and rescue them from the enemy PF. We need to get both of them back safe and sound. I've sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. Our staff member on the run last contacted us from that force. The enemy PF already has troops spread out in a manhunt to find him. Keep your eyes open. Extract our man before the search team can find him. Check his location on your iDroid. Kaziba Camp, an enemy outpost. It's got good visibility and not many places to hide. Use the landscape wherever possible. Target's dead. Mission failed.